Cape Canaveral's Air Force Station and this behind me is Launch Pad 37. Just in a few days NASA will launch the next GO satellite on the Delta IV rocket. Right next to me is Russell Taub. He's the chief engineer for the United Launch Alliance for the Delta IV rocket. So Russ, could you please point to the key element that we see from here and explain what we see? Sure, Sylvia. Behind us here we have the bottom end of the first stage, which is this large orange round cylinder here, and attached to it are two solid rocket motors that will uh, all light off on T0 on the day of launch. And that was going to be my next question. What is it that we're going to see on the day of launch? On the day of launch, up above, the we have these swing arms that are going to pull back from the rocket before it leaves the pad, and then you will see a bunch of flame coming out the back end, a lot of smoke, and then gradually the rocket will lift off and go straight up into the air. So after launch, how long before the spacecraft is actually separated from the launch vehicle? Oh, from the time we lift off, it's a little over four hours before the spacecraft will be uh, set free from the rocket. So it's, uh, it's a fairly long ride. How do you actually test the launch vehicle to make sure that it places the spacecraft in its orbit? Well, it gets a lot of testing at the factory, but the final testing all gets done here at the launch site, and we test all the systems out, the electrical, the hydraulic, the pneumatic systems to make sure they're working. We also put the, the fuels on board prior to the day of launch to make sure that's all working correctly. If you were to use simple comparisons, how, how tall is this rocket, if, if you were to just explain to anybody on the street? Well, anybody on the street, I think, has seen a space shuttle. So this rocket is a little over 200 feet tall, say, compared to a shuttle, which is about 185 feet tall. So it's a little taller than a shuttle, but not as fat as a shuttle. So I guess we could call you a rocket scientist. How long have you been doing this? Oh, I've uh, grown into being a rocket scientist over 25 years now. It's been uh, working on various different rockets and missiles over the course of my career, and it's been a great life. This must be really exciting for you. We're close to launch. How does it feel? It feels very exciting, you know, the, to finally get to the launch day, to finally get here after all the hard work that everybody's put into it. Always a little anxiety because you're not sure that it's going to work perfectly, but you've done everything you know how to do to make sure that it's going to work. Thank you, Russ. So for more information about the GOZO mission, for some cool videos and animation, visit www.nasa.gov slash capital G-O-E-S dash O.